10 sampai semampunya kita Sejak yang pertama ya Nations descended from Noah Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah Sam, Ham and Japhet And sons were born to them after the flood The sons of Japhet were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tuval, Meshek and The sons of Gomer were Askenaz, Rifath, and Togar, Togarma. Okay, sorry. Yeah. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tas, Tasvis, Idim, and Kudurani. From these, the coastlands peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families into their nations. The sons of Ham were Kuz, Kuz, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Kuz were Seba, Afila, Sapta, Rama, and Sapteka. And the sons of Rama were Seba and Didan. Kuz wake up in birth. He began to be a big tree. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was better, Erch, Akkad, and Tamne in the land of Shina. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Rehoboth ear, Kala, and Hassan between Nineveh and Kala. That is the principal city. Misraim begot Ludim, Anamim, Lehabim, Naptuhim, Patrushim, and Kastuhim, from whom came the Philistines and Shabtuhim. Canaan begot Sidon in his, sorry, Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and had the Jebusit, the Amorite, and the Gergashit, the Hephite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the, the Alfarit, the Samarit, and the Hamathit, Hamathit, After what the family, the families of the Canaan, Canaan were dispersed, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as you go toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Atma, and Seboim, as far as Lasha. This is this. And children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder. The sons of Sam were Elam, Asur, Abhaksat, Lut, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Us, Hul, Geter, and Mesh. Abhaksat begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. To Eber, to Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Pelek, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan, Joktan, Bejot, Almorat, Sarat, Asar, Mavet, Jela. 
Hadoram Usal Dikla. Obal, Abimael, Heba. Ophir, Hafila, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. And Jerry, and Dale, Malin, Pledge, was from Mesa as you go toward Sepha, the mountain of the earth. These were the sons of Sam, according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, according to their nations. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to their generation in their nation. And from this, uh, the nation will defeat on the earth after the flood. The Tower of Babel. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came past as was the journey from the earth that they found a plain in the land of China, China and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them truly. They had brick for stone, and had they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, Let's we be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, In the, the people are one, the, are, are one on the old F1 lizards. And this is what they begin. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord started the approach from her over the face of all the earth, and they started building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Sam's descendant. This is the uh, genealogy genealogy of him. Shem was one hundred years old and Bijot Akhata two years after the flood. After he begot Akhrasat, Shem lived five hundred years and begot sons and daughters. Akhrasat lived thirty-five years and Bijot After he begot Selah, Aprasat lived four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. Salah lived thirty years and begot Eber. After he begot Eber, Salah lived four hundred and three years, and begot sons and daughters. Eber lived thirty-four years and begot Pelek. After he begot Pelek, Eber lived four hundred and thirty years, and begot sons and daughters. Pelek lived thirty years and begot Reu. After he begot Reu, Pelek lived two hundred and nine years and begot sons and daughters. Reu lived thirty-two years and begot Seru. After he begot Seruk, Reu lived two hundred and seven years and begot sons and daughters. Seruk lived thirty years and begot Nahor. After he begot Nahor, Seruk lived two hundred years and begot sons and daughters. Nahor lived twenty-nine years and begot Terah. After he begot Terah, Nahor lived one hundred and nineteen years and he begot sons and daughters. 
Now the Lord is with the earth and they will overcome and harm. Terah's descendants. This is the genealogy of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Haran begot Lot. And Haran did before his father Terah in his native land. His rule on the Chaldeans. Then Abraham and Nahor took wives. The name of Abraham's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughters of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Ishka. But Sarai was, was barren, barren. She had no children. And Terah took his son Abraham and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abraham's wife, and they went out with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan, and they came to Haran and dwelt there. So the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah lived in Haran. Promises to Abraham. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham departed as us was the Lord and Lot went with him, and Abraham, Abraham was seventy-five years old when he departed from Ham. Then Abraham took Sarah his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their possessions that they had gathered, and they and the people whom they had acquired in Haran, and they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. Abraham pushed, pushed, pushed from the land to the place of Sechem, as was far was the servant tree, tree of Moreh. Lanjut kah? Ya. Masih 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 lanjut. Yeah. Belum and, belum sampai habis ya. Yeah. The Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, "To your descendants I will give this land." And there he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. And he moved, moved from there to the mountain as of Bethlehem. And he pictured his tent with Bethel on, Bethel on the west and I on the east. Third, he built an altar to the Lord and called, called it on the name of the Lord. So Abraham journeyed going on still toward the south. And it came to pass, when he was close to enter Egypt, that he said to Sarah his wife, Indeed, I know that you are a woman of beautiful countenance. Therefore, it will happen when the A-G, A-G, U-P, T-U-N-C-U, T-U-N-C, that they will say this is his 
why and they will kill me but they will let you lie please say you are my sister that it may be well with me for your sake and that i may live because of you so it was when Ab when abraham abraham came into a g u p t that the a g u p t s so so the woman the woman that she was very beautiful the princess of the pharaoh also saw her and commanded her to Pero, and the woman was taken to Pero's house. She treated Abraham well for his sake. He had sheep, oxen, male donkey, male and female servant, family donkeys, and camels. But the Lord pledged Pero and his house with great pledges because of Sarai, Abraham's wife. And Pharaoh called Abraham and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say, She is my sister? I might have taken her as my wife. Now, therefore, here is your wife. Take her and go your way. So, his men conjuring him and they sent him away with his wife and all that he had abraham inherits canaan then abraham went up from egypt he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him to the south abraham abraham was abraham was very rich in Live, live top in silver and, yeah, and in gold. And he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel to the place where his stand had been at the beginning between Bethel and Ai. To the place of the altar which he had made three and first. And three Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Lot also, who went with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support the them that they made well, well together for three positions, positions were so great that they called not. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abraham's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Parasites then dwell in the land. So Abraham said to Lot, Please let you let you be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lord left his eyes east and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered water every week before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, Egypt as you go towards Sodom. Then Lord chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lord journeyed east, and they separated from each other. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent even given as was for Sodom. 
But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had departed from him, If there is none of you from the church where you are not what, not what, so what, rest what, and rest what. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants and descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man called Noah the dust of the earth, then your descendants also called in him. Arise. Walk in the land to its length and its wide, for I give it to you. Then Abraham moved his tent and went and walked by the servant trees and mammon, which are in heaven, and built an altar three to the Lord. Okay, let's dulu. Okay. 